During my two weeks in the hospital, I had plenty of time to question my place in the justice system. Tonight, I'm planning to write about this as much as I can. Hashtag on patrol with at here comes trouble and at walking dolphin. Hashtag stronghold. Is it just me or is it plain stupid to announce that we are out on patrol? Is there anything that isn't stupid to you? Yeah, coffee. Did someone say coffee? We just got a ping. It looks like there's a report of suspicious activity at the docks. I guess that means our shift starts early. Let's go. Papa Smurf always says, There's plenty of time for the ship to depart. Then let's take a peek at that warehouse. Watch your six. Assailants are armed. You're gonna hurt yourselves. Someone tipped off Stronghold. Send back up. container was the source of the report. It looks poorly loaded. Yeah, I wonder what's in it. other, I guess. He's only the most wanted smuggler in Europe. Ah, no point, eh? <sighs> Let's get to the clobbering pot, then. You just read my mind.
give up, Trinado! Huh? Ah, screw you! Staring at the ceiling in the hospital, I had this question in my mind. Am I really fixing things? Or am I just a painkiller trying to hide the symptoms of a bigger problem? Or even worse, just plain old duct tape? On days like this, I just can't tell for sure. Hashtag stronghold. Valeria? Shit! I just can't believe Valeria's body was stolen from under our noses, Captain. It is also troubling that experiments have been performed on a metahuman's body who's strong enough to bend reality. It's clear we have a serious security breach. We'll take care of this when the time comes. However, our priority is to find who is responsible. What have we got? She not only knows that the container is headed to a buyer in Europe, nothing more. An operation of this scale could not have taken place without She-Wolf's knowledge. I tried to reach her. But she's not answering. Everything in the files is fake, except the name of the truck driver who made the delivery. Looks like he is working the night shift at a bar in Riverside. We can at least find out where he got the container. Well, looks like we have two clues. Pick one, and I'll send another team to the other location. We'll keep that in mind. Don't we have enough problems without you beating people up? Just doing our duty. did here on social media. Don't forget to mention the heavily armed assailants, too.
Christina, we've been trying to reach you all night. Don't you ever check your phone? The nerve of this girl. That's your excuse for showing up and bashing people's heads in? A missed call? What? Of course not. I'm sick of you terrorizing this whole lucky run the place. Buzz off! Or what? You gonna eat us? I don't eat junk food. generalize, but even after a fight to the death, a lycanthrope will not hold a grudge against anyone. It's all fair game as long as grievances, as well as blows, have been dealt. Long story short, you can almost always come to terms with a lycanthrope. Hashtag lycanthrope. Can we finally talk, now that the dust has settled? Valeria's body, huh? I didn't expect this deal to blow up this bad. Maybe the bite first, ask questions later policy is a bit out of date, don't you think? Troy, please. Look, Christina, I truly apologize to all of you for the mess tonight, but we really had to find out what you knew about the container. Very well. There is a small clan of vampires hanging out in the lab at the abandoned buildings for years. I've learned a truck carrying containers was going in and out there two days ago. Hold up! You're saying that you notice suspicious activity going on in an abandoned World War II super soldier lab in your area, and you didn't worry about it? I thought it was just old lab equipment. They never had any beef with us, so we stayed in our lane. Now we know where they were doing their experiments. Let's go and find out their purpose. Wait a minute, little star. These are big boy plans for a tiny vampire clan. Could there be someone behind the curtains? Anything is possible in Mayhem City. I can help by making a few calls. fight an army of vampires for a cup of coffee. Be careful what you wish for, Troy. four years ago. You guys remember that? How can we forget? Is it true that all purebloods 
hold management positions at Feller Corp. That last one was a community manager at best. if I didn't see it with my own eyes. Quickly! You won't walk out of here alive. There were bullies in the arcade where I went after school. They took money from kids and, ironically, beat up bullies in the game. Years later, I ran into one of them during my morning commute. He did not seem intimidating at all. 
Hashtag arcade, hashtag bully. Come on, man! You were just showing off a minute ago! <laughs> you know nothing about Nosferatu's, you moron. <laughs> Am I supposed to change his diaper? No, you need to burp him. Anyway, I know what you came here for, but you will return empty-handed. What are you babbling about? A large pack of lycanthropes raided the lab and stole the entire project just a few hours ago. She-Wolf's crew? Huh, <laughs> no idea. But we would have destroyed you if we weren't already battered. Yeah, dream on. I want my lawyer! I will sue you! We already called her. She's on her way. Since we caught you red-handed, we have the right to practice mind reading on you during your interrogation. Don't worry. None of these will be admissible as evidence in a court hearing. Hush now. They tried to develop a device that could mimic Valeria's probability control powers. The project is called Chaos Device. It appears that they were partially successful. The device works, but the DNA of the cloned organic material inside it is dissolved after the initial use. So this thingy they called Chaos Device is actually a kind of reality-bending bomb? Absolutely. They had two copies. Both were stolen. Captain, I just talked to She-Wolf. She is denying any involvement in this. Might other lycanthropes refusing her authority have formed another pack of their own? A few weeks ago, our intelligence reported that there was a new leader of the small lycanthrope community living in the sewer network. Yes, Captain. I remember the report. If I remember correctly, she was called... Lady Vermin. We know where Lady Vermin and her followers live. Pay them a visit, would you? There are two known entry points to the sewer network. One under the statue in Greenbridge Park, and the other through the train yard at the old subway. The park is lycanthrope territory. The wizard gangs rule the old subway line. Choose one and keep me updated. We have to get our hands on these devices ASAP.
think you are doing around here? What's with the outfit? Well, I'm under orders to protect my lady. <laughs> I won't let you go down. Does your mom know about this? Hey, I turned 18 yesterday. <laughs> Congratulations, kid. Now put that hammer down before you hurt yourself. <laughs> Eat my shorts. <laughs> you, you, you get it? Gardner. I'm a video game addict. I once received a reprimand because I got a fake doctor report to stay home and play the expansion of my favorite MMORPG game on release day. Now, I'm trying to stay away from the online friends I made then. Hashtag video games, hashtag addiction. Well, I get that you want to cut down on your online gaming time, but why don't you call me anymore? Oliver, from the moment I saw you today, all I can think about is to buy myself a new mechanical keyboard. Unfortunately, I have an addiction. 
and you are one of my trigger points. Let's not get sidetracked. How do you justify entering the service of a lycanthrope gang leader? Well, when you're a werebore, it's hard to find someone who accepts you for what you are, Grace. This is no excuse to commit a crime, Oliver. I know. And please, Grace, uh, give me one last chance. Keep your eyes peeled. The gang activity in the city is getting out of control. You're on your own down there. We can handle it, Captain. You are not welcome here. Piss off.
Chaos devices. Sorry, big boy, but I don't have them. I sent both devices to their respective owners. And you expect us to believe that? There's more. I got you involved in this mess by making the call about the cargo ship. Plus, thanks to me, you were chasing your own tails all day to recover those stolen devices. Okay. You're a bikini-clad criminal mastermind who lives in the sewers. We got that. But I'm really curious about the owners of those devices. Who are they? Your so-called friends, Enchantress and Voivoda. Bullshit. Put some clothes on, lady. We're bringing you in. Closer luck. used in superhero stories is when the hero is dealing with the problem caused by themselves. Not long ago, I partially sorted out a problem that I had inherited from my mother, and I thought I broke free of this stereotype. How wrong I was. Hashtag superhero. You were one of the few survivors we rescued from the Clover residence two months ago. I even remember your name. Becky. Becky Porter. Why did you turn on us? What else did you expect? I spent 15 years of my life in terror, trapped in a zombie-filled district because of your mother. Do you expect me to be grateful because you pulled me out of there? Becky, uh, 
I don't know what to say. Look, lady, with that spreading rate of the outbreak, it was impossible for anyone to have survived there. Star's mother had to make a difficult call that cost her life by sealing the Clover residence with the dome. Yeah, the Gordiron Knot. I've seen the documentary, too. The funny thing is, I wasn't even living there. I was there to strip for a rich bastard's bachelorette party. Oh, um, speaking of rich, you mentioned the Enchantress and Voivod were behind everything. Are they financing you? No. They don't even know about my existence. It was Enchantress's plan all along. She dragged Voivoda into the scheme by promising a device in exchange for the use of his lab. Enough of this. We'll continue this at the station. Lady, you're under arrest. Oh, am I? Shit. Luckily, I want you to crawl on your knees, not die. Now get the hell out of here. That was the biggest defeat in Stronghold's history, Captain. Maybe we should thank her. No, uh, we should. Because she made us realize the true nature of our allies by dragging us into an operation that we wouldn't have been aware of at all. Well, team, we have two targets this evening. Enchantress is hosting the talk show called Codex Tonight. And as far as we know, Voivode will spend the evening on his penthouse floor. Which one would you like to confront? I will personally visit the other one with a second squad according to your choice. I can't believe I almost accepted Vlad's dinner invitation last week. Do you regret having passed on the chance to dine at a restaurant where the plates cost more than your mortgage payment? Maybe a little. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to...
company, please. It's proven again that no secret can be kept in the dark. I'm sure you all learned Valeria's story. She asked me for a Viking funeral while she was dying. Maybe she predicted what would happen. I hope she found the peace she desperately searched while alive in her death. Hashtag Valeria. <laughs>